All right, I decided that the game has just been a little bit too easy as of late. And I thought, what would be a fun way to help spice up the randomizer? I thought the idea of playing through the new Druid randomizer, which has uh, teleporters open to everywhere in the castle and some new geometry, on top of the fact that if I do that with luck mode, with lower health, I feel like that could be a potentially interesting challenge. And then 200.6, you know, you throw that on at the end of any challenge, who cares, you know, it's just, it's just 200.6. Oh wait, I did the wrong code. Oops, <laughs> you're right. Hold on. Sorry, this luck mode code, that's the correct one. Let's get started. And yeah, 200.6%, you know, might as well because it's funny. But yeah, I, I figured going into late game areas early by warping into them while in luck mode might actually be somewhat challenging. And luck mode does make the randomizer, I think, a little bit more interesting. We might get a couple more um, interesting random item drops. Because that is the one thing about this preset is because the game is so open, you oftentimes skip past most of the convenient item checks because you just warp directly to the next relic location. So maybe having more, uh, a higher chance of random item drops might make the randomizer aspect for the items that is a little bit more interesting. Because that is one thing that I did notice. No! Wait, the cross doesn't matter. This is luck mode. The cross literally doesn't matter. I forgot. All right, who cares? It's fine. We're fine. Well, that's the thing. Having no MP seems like it would be a really big uh, detriment. However, Druid solves part of that issue by lowering the MP cost uh, for Mist to zero and transforming into Wolf into zero. And then all the other uh, Wolf movement options that require MP are also uh, heavily discounted. So because of that, we will actually be able to utilize the transformation so long as it's not bad early, which I think is actually kind of nice. Is the input visualizer new? Yeah, uh, somebody donated 10 bucks for me to put it on uh, the screen, so I decided to do it. And actually, I think it looks pretty nice in that location. The only downside is I can't use it whilst um, speedrunning on Xbox. But, you know, it's, it, it's fine. Also, we started with Girthang, which is quite nice. Either Alucard or Alucart shield, I'm not sure which. If it's Alucard shield, this might be easy mode, but... But yeah, this is probably going to take a few hours since we plan on doing 200.6. I'll try and clear a lot of the map early. Um, but once we get bat, that's probably when we're going to actually clear like most of the, the map tiles. Ooh, Ring of Vlad. And Power of Sire. Oh, I can't make that jump. Alucard, of course. That's fine. Could be worse. How can I play this randomizer mod? Uh, the PPFs for it are on uh, the Long Library Discord. All right, thankfully we got lucky with the Gur thing because we'll actually be able to kill these imps pretty easily. I was worried about these imps. They, depending on your armor, they might have the ability to one-shot you. Okay, let me freaking... Do I not have enough MP for Dark Metamorphosis? I need 10 MP for Dark Metamorphosis. No, I can't use it yet. Okay, we can at least summon Spirit and get some iframes. There we go. Now we should be able to Dark Metamorphosis and an s stock. We can use that for some out of logic shenanigans. Luck mode coming in clutch right now. Um, I'm going to grab that familiar card, even though they're pretty much useless most of the time. Sword card's nice. We might be able to... You know what? Maybe I'll allow myself to do glitches since I'm doing 200.6% anyways. So maybe we can do a little bit of shop glitching for funsies. Why not? Might it, like, I'm doing 200.6. Might as well do all relics. Might as well just do everything. 100% everything. Screw it. 100% randomizer. I actually don't know what PPF stands for. I think it stands for um, penis, penis, penis. 
And yes, I have the mind of a 12 year old, all right? And nothing here. Uh, we'll do outer wall first and then we'll do penis per frame. Damn it, that's so much funnier. God damn it. Have I completed the game with outside map glitch? Like all of the map tiles that are possible out of bounds? Um, from my understanding, you can technically get an infinite amount of out of bounds map tile on the PlayStation version using some memory corruption bullshit. Um, otherwise, without that, it's like what? In the 400s? But takes like dozens and dozens and dozens of hours. Oh god, we have to be careful. We can't die here. Oof. Okay. And there's nothing here! Damn it, I'm getting owned. I knew the early game was going to be genuinely more challenging. I think once we get to the late game, it'll stop being challenging, but that's just kind of how Soten is, even in luck mode. There we go. We also started with a fantastic weapon, so... Even with our bad stats, it's, like, not that bad. Ooh, okay, well, now Shop Glitch is 100% online. We have a Garnet as well. Nice. Not bad. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way. Yeah, Druid is vanilla item um, stats and uh, attributes. I mean, that's something that I, as a, in general, is all it takes is one Chrysogram or one Alucard shield to destroy all sense of difficulty. But I mean, that's just how the game is, you know? Speaking of, I guess I don't have a library card, so I'll do these item checks since I need to do the map anyways. I was hoping to get a library card. I guess not. It's fine. My goal is once we get Soul of Bat, we'll do a lot of backtracking at that point. Hopefully we get lucky and get like Duplicator and Mana Prism as well. Hmm. PPF actually stands for PlayStation Patch Format. Is that true? I didn't know it was so specific to PlayStation. Keep of Zoe. I actually need that, funny enough. I need that to clear the map. <laughs> Normally, what would be a skippable... Um... Oh, damn. That guy's strong as fuck. Oh, no, no, no. If that guy hit me, I would have died. Jeez. Um, yeah, I need the to get a stopwatch in order to complete the map. Let me save the game. Let me check this item real quick. All right. But yeah, I'm going to save the game... Because that guy's scary. And I only have 39 HP. <clears throat> Hopefully we find Bat somewhat soon. But we'll see. Oh, Logan, it's confirmed that it... Well, somewhat confirmed that it's meant to be pronounced Zoe. And not Zo. But I think I pronounced it Zo for a long time because I'd never seen the name Zoe spelt that way, but it is an alternate spelling for the name Zoe. I don't need that. Thanks, Matthias. I mean, I'm just happy there's, like, so many different ways to play through the randomizer to keep the game fresh. Oh, God. Because, I don't know. Before the randomizer came out, honestly, all I ever did was just world record attempts, basically, of different categories. The randomizer has really brought in my um, horizons with, like, experiencing this game, which is it was genuinely very nice. And it's also easy to come up with, like, fun stream concepts when the randomizer already makes things interesting on its own. So I don't need to work that hard to come up with some crazy challenge runs and stuff like that.
Fire Boomerang. Unironically, Fire Boomerang jumps might be interesting if we find the means to use them. Oh, so close. I thought it was going to be a library card, but it's a cake ticket. That's a leftover of the uh, Aperture preset right there. Since this is based off of Aperture, obviously. What? Hold on. I thought... Sorry, guys. I thought this was randomized. Obviously, something went wrong. There seems to be a, a, a bug, a glitch, if you will, in the Matrix. Because that... Did not look very random to me. All right, let me kill this dude real quick. Yeah, Dark Metamorphosis uh, increases the um, active frames of the Sword Slash, as well as increasing the damage like 2.2x or something like that. It's it's pretty crazy. Yo, what up, miserable? How you doing? Yeah, Druid keeps the portal spell as well, yep. Ooh. Well, stopwatch. That gives me access to the Alucard's room. Which is nice. Do you need all save rooms for 200.6? Yep. You need every single map tile in the game for 200.6. My goal is to come back once I have Soul of Bat to try and clean up a lot of these um, locations. Because it'll be a lot faster to backtrack through these locations once I have Sola Bat and can Wing Smash around than it would be for me to just do every single map uh, tile right away. You know what? Get over here. That was quick. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, we're going to be uh, seeing those guys a little bit later. You know what? I forgot I had Stopwatch. So much nicer to get through this room. How do you animate the controller on screen like that? Um, it's just a program um, called Controller Display. I think it's literally just called Controller Display. Hold on, let me double check what it's actually called. Yeah, it's just called Controller Display. Um, Controller display by Fred Wood. So you could probably Google that and find it. Thanks, Fred. Fred would do that, yeah. He's such a nice guy. Ooh, Soul of Wolf. Well, that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's good for us, but also kind of bad for us. All right. So the two locations we skipped early game were both the locations we were supposed to do. Fantastic. You love to see it. Does it support other layouts? Uh, yeah. It supports a lot of different layouts. Granted, they're cropped because of the way that I'm using it, but it supports all sorts of different... Um, Controller types. It's honestly a pretty neat uh, device. And I think if you're using an X input device, it just automatically works. Like, you don't need to fit futz with it at all. It'll automatically um, read whatever device you're using that uh, uses X input. Yeah, now we're lycanthroping a little bit. Oh, Slug on Gaibon is gone. I missed them. <laughs> Damn it, I'm really bad with the wolf movement today. Oh well. I'm glad that we share the same brain cell, Matthias. Uh, oops. Let me not do that. Uh, we need to go here. 
The faster warp animations is also a very nice uh, quality of life thing. Changes all the buttons to dog faces. That's funny. Yeah, I'm sure there's probably all sorts of fun ways to customize it and stuff. Thoughts on Aperture Tournament Race? Uh, I think Aperture is probably not a fantastic tournament preset right now. I don't know if I know what Brookies is. Am I about to get hit with a D's Nuts joke? Does it make any difference on the real boss later? No, it's just a, um, what's it called? It's just an Easter egg. This game is full of Easter eggs that don't have any real um, impact on the rest of the game. What is the Druid preset? Essentially, the idea for the Druid preset is that uh, transformations cost less magic uh, to use their movement options mostly, except for Soul of Bat, because that's too powerful. Um, and all of the warps are open from the start. All of the shortcuts are open from the start. And some of the game's like map geometry has been changed to uh, make the game a little bit longer and make sure that uh, relics like Jewel of Open are, are still useful, Spike Breaker, stuff like that. Um, the best way to really get a feel for it is just to watch. Like once you have seen someone go through it once, you'll understand. Uh, I have a sword card actually, hold on. Let's have Sword Bro help us out. Hopefully I have enough magic for this. I feel like I should. Yeah, I do. We just have to gather the Brother Soul Blades real quick. And now since the librarian saw us gather the Brother Soul Blades, he's actually giving me a discount on Garnets. It's basically Aperture plus Lycanthropia. Uh, yo, is that ghost card? My favorite. Will this shop glitch even matter? I mean, mana prisms are purchasable, which is actually kind of nice. If I don't find a duplicator, having a bunch of mana prisms is actually a second best option. Well, I mean, double Varda. You don't say no to double Varda. And buy a bunch of these guys. Yeah, 90 seems fine. Farewell for now. Attack potions. Why would I attack a potion when I can just Varda? Uh, yeah, I'll use Girthing on the offhand. Only the... <laughs> yeah, I only I only got the, the number, ooh, number of mana prisms that I absolutely needed. That's for sure. Um, ooh, this is kind of a weird split. Either, this is why, okay, this is an exact reason why I don't think that this is a great tournament preset or um, um, Aperture as well. Right now, I have three options I can go to, all of which are incredibly far from each other. Eh, like, pretty far from each other. Either I go to Allrox's quarters to find, to get sword card, specifically just sword card, or I go back to the Alchemy Lab to do Sauger and Gaibon. Or I go to the Caverns, and the only way to get to the Caverns in this preset is to go from Castle Entrance uh, with the current relics that I have. And then go up the Waterfall, and then uh, from there I should be able to uh, check Scylla. Like in a tournament setting, that would drive me fucking insane. It turns into guess correctly the video game, you know what I mean? Which doesn't feel very great from a competitive standpoint. So in a tournament setting, like losing to a, a one third chance of picking the correct direction and losing, like if you pick the wrong direction, you just lose a bunch of time. How do you go up the waterfall? Uh, I believe, oh no, I'm sorry, not up the waterfall. You have to warp, the way you're actually supposed to do it is you warp to the mines and then you go up the mines. Sorry, that's the correct way to do it. It's not from entrance, but from the mines. I've made that uh, mental mistake before. Speaking of, I think that's what I'm going to do.
I love how the sword bro has to fly from off screen. It's very funny. Now. I mean, we have out of logic flight. Maybe I should have taken advantage of out of logic flight first before doing the stuff that's in logic. I don't know. Um, we need these map tiles anyways. Let me just get them out of the way now. Oh my god, never mind, I'm bad at the game. Skull shield? At least it's funny. That's our second fire boomerang. Not that we'll need it. You can climb the waterfall whilst in wolf form if you have the snorkel. Plus, I believe, skill of wolf and wolf. Damn, 240? That's only... No, that's with both Vardas. Yeah, I think the correct play is I'm going to go this way. I'm going to check Scylla. We'll check Succubus on the way up. And then... Oops. I'm really bad at this movement. I should practice it. Yeah, I'm really bad at this movement. Thank you, Expo. I appreciate the tier one. Helping us towards that partner plus. One step at a time, one sub at a time. Yeah, the, the high jump now has a rainbow effect. That was added somewhat recently. Like less than a week ago, I want to say. It's very new. To the randomizer. Oh. Sword Bro honestly came in clutch there. I didn't have to do anything. Oh no, the water's coming! Help! Oh no! 69 health! We can't take any damage, chat. It's important. Oh. Nothing here. I mean, leveling up, I'll, I'll try and avoid it, but it's gonna happen eventually, unfortunately. We just gotta stay at 69 health as long as we possibly can. I mean, we're going up this way anyways to get to all Rox's quarters, so might as well. I don't need the Claymore. Simply take damage when you level up. Ooh, nah, ooh, hold on. Big brain. It's not a bad idea. I'm gonna check that katana on the way out in case it's like Yasasuna. Familiar kills give you experience? Yes, they do. Uh, Project Omega. Otherwise, in the pacifist speedrun, we would just get a familiar to and not do some of the revenge tech shenanigans. What's the inspiration behind the rainbow gravity jump? Uh, simply, it's possible to do, so therefore, why not? Oh, regular katana. Lame. All relics? Oh, fine, I'll go grab it. You're right, Matthias, you're right. And since I'm here, I should get the... Uh, save room as well because i'm definitely going to be like three hours into this run and be like where's the last room and it's this save room and i'd be like oh damn it why didn't i get that while i was there i'm such a stupid smelly idiot and then no one's going to correct me and then i'm going to be like oh Oh, 
Hopefully we find that soon, because I don't want to be doing this forever. Just backdashing around. But you're our stupid smelly idiot. Aw, oh, thank you. That honestly makes it so much better. Whee. Uh, yeah, let's go. Ah, ow! Too many projectiles. Ow! <laughs> what the heck? Why don't you do right side of either Scylla hallways? Right side. Oh, shh. I mean, we have to come back there anyways for, um... Damn it. Uh, once we get Merman statue, so we can clean that up then. Thankfully, we actually start with most of the map, um... Available, so it'll be easy for us to tell some of the map tiles we miss. It's gonna take some hours. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna take a while. Last time I did a 200.6 randomizer, I think it took like almost three hours. Uh, oh yeah. Oh no, I can't go. I mean, I can check the items. I don't have a library card yet. Yeah, let's go up here just to check the items. Now, if there was a mod that... Ooh, Heart Refresh. That's actually nice. If there was a mod that increased the number of projectiles... Oh. Let me finish this sentence real quick. So, for those that want to know what's different about Druid, um, you might be aware that there um, seems to be um, some new stuff going on. How much does a Tier 3 sub cost? Uh... Before tax, I believe it's $25 and counts as six subscriptions for Partner Plus. It is a non-trivial amount of money. It's I don't expect everybody to be able to just drop $25 on a streamer that they like. Uh, but there's also regional pricing differences. So depending on what region you're in, I believe it could be cheaper. Um... Yeah, we'll go this way. Anyways, to finish the other thought, if there was a... Ooh, God damn it. I, ADHD making it impossible to finish this stupid thought. If there was a mod that increased the number of projectiles that enemies threw and how often they threw them to turn someone into a bullet hell, I think that would be very funny. That's all I wanted to say. Also, Karma Coin. Speaking of, miserable pile of secrets with the huge support. The five months and the tier three on top of that. Well, I have to wait for my MP to refill, actually. Well, actually, I don't need to, but let's just say I need to. And let me update the count. We're making, we're making progress. Four tier threes today is huge. Absolutely massive. I do not want to understate how insane that is. How many... I mean, not including the other tier ones that we got today, that means minimum we got 24 points. Oh, God. Added to Partner Plus, which gets us well over 125 out of the 350 needed. That's actually pretty big. That is indeed huge. Sword Bro's trying his best. Here, let's get Sword Bro involved. Damn, 62 damage from that one attack? Massive. Yeah, we started today's stream at 105. Um, that stream elements command doesn't update automatically. 
and also twitch on twitch's end they don't update your um partner plus points until like 24 hours later basically like it takes about 24 hours for it to um to register so because of that i don't know exactly how many points i'm at but i can estimate that we're probably around like 130 maybe 135 out of 350 and we have you know a decent chunk of the month left so we're either on pace or close to it <laughs> emotional support weapon yeah true if we can get it for november that's just one more month and then it's ggs your boy will be making the big bucks um yeah it's 350 points for three months in a row and then i get a 70 30 split on all twitch subs for an entire year up to technically it's only up to a hundred thousand uh, dollars of revenue but I don't think I'm going to be making $100,000 in sub revenue this year. I think there's probably less than like 200 streamers on the platform that make over $100,000 in just sub revenue. Like that is not a very common occurrence. Not not everybody's making that big, those kind of big bucks. Yeah, the, the rainbow gravity jump thing is a uh, mod from... Uh, I don't have Jewel of Open, otherwise I would go through... I would go through that way to get some map tiles, but I don't have Jewel of Open. Damn. DB mustache combs. I, I don't think I need to be selling any merch. I think I'm good. Maybe in the future at some point, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to be a streamer that sells merch unless it's very very funny like insanely funny to do so and the joke of selling the merch alone is worth it or if it i just have an idea for something that's genuinely good those are the only two options uh ooh, i kind of want to keep this stopwatch thank you what's more likely is um because the way that the world is uh, and how difficult it is to find uh, like housing and stuff like that and because of my situation where I'm going to be moving or I'm going to need to move um, later this year or later next year I should say my lease is expiring and um, they're going to be raising... It's, like, basically guaranteed that they're going to raise the rent on us. So because of that... Ooh, Merman. I do have to um, start saving up for moving costs. And part of that will likely just be me um, doing sponsorships on the YouTube and on Twitch. Although I don't know how to advocate for sponsor deals if I multicast on Twitch and YouTube. Surely the, the sponsors are figuring out the technology for how to price that and figure that out. I don't have any library cards, do I? I just have the cake ticket. All right, well, to the library we go. And I can get these map tiles on the way. That's fine. I mean, it's life. I'm not trying to make my real-world problems you guys' problems, because that's just, like, you know, would be very selfish of me. But I am going to be honest about what's going on in my uh, life if it impacts stuff like, you know, being able to live, which is kind of a prerequisite for being able to stream, is I, I kind of need to be alive.
Um, let me grab this map tile. But yeah, the partner plus thing is just like one step that will help make the finances more secure for that thing, for moving. Um, and then probably on top of that, uh, just taking a few like hopefully chill sponsorships. But we'll see. Especially if my like main channel YouTube videos can continue to get like, you know, 100,000 or more views per video. I feel like I could put uh, ads on those or sell sponsorships on those and probably make a decent chunk of money. I've never done it before and I'm kind of hesitant to do it, but I don't know. Much like doing anything new in life, it's going to be uh, somewhat nerve inducing. But I think it'll be fine. And I'm sure most everyone will be understanding. Hi there, Bruce. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Something something VPN sponsor bit. Yeah, that would be great. I should try and reach out and get like a VPN sponsor. To be fair, I get reached out to all the time about VPN sponsors. I just have declined all spawn or I just haven't responded to any sponsorship stuff yet. Because it's a lot of work. Like you you do have to do some amount of like haggling. Otherwise you are just kind of accepting a bad deal, is what I've been told. Is if like a sponsorship company emails you and is like, hey, do this and we'll give you this money. Uh, the correct thing to do is to say, actually, I'll do it for double what you just said. Because otherwise, you can easily get taken advantage of. And worst case scenario, they just say, actually, we can't afford that. And then you're like, oh, okay. Like, it's not going to ruin your, you know, ability to get... There we go. Uh, sponsorships in the future. Or whatever. Um, I do need to do the bottom. You know what? Yeah, I have an idea. Unsurprisingly, work is work. I fervently feel that way. I got a really shitty YouTube comment. Um, granted, this is just uh, negativity bias kicking in. But it's somebody who, when I was talking about the um, the editor thing, I was like, yeah, I don't want to like get into a situation where I can't afford an editor, so therefore I underpay them. I think most people understand that position. Uh, I'm going to do research on whomever I uh, partner with. That's another reason why I haven't taken any like um, deals, Rain, is because I want to make sure that I'm not like basically advertising for something that I think is like a scam or I don't believe in or whatever. Um, a long story short, someone was like, oh, yeah, that's a great solution. Just don't pay them at all because you don't want to underpay them. And I'm like, yeah, they can find work somewhere else. What do you mean? The fuck? I didn't respond to the comment because it was very stupid. But it's just a reminder that um, common sense is not common. And oftentimes people will just have very, like, I don't know. They'll feel the need to express their contrary opinion when no one asked. And I think that is hilarious that you leaving this comment in a YouTube video for a streamer who plays a Castlevania game from freaking... What? What happened to the music? Why did it switch? Isn't this shit supposed to be randomized? Yo, second Vorpal Blade, that's actually huge. Uh, we needed this room anyways, and also, I think it'd be funny to see what the librarian's got under his butt.
Just give me one item. That's all I care about. Has it been this the whole time? I'm going to double check in case I'm going crazy. Because it definitely was a different song. Until I, like, left the boss room with... That might be part of it. Also, this guy's not giving me shit. I'm mad. I'm not going to stay here forever. The speedrun's already going to take 12 million years. It's fine. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe it was quick kill boss music glitch. So that's why I'm going to deload this room and reload it to see if this is supposed to be the correct music. So I'm going to leave the area. Oh, no. It is vanilla music. Okay, never mind. So then that must have been it. It must have been the glitch with um, killing Lesser Demon. Uh, well, the seat is telling me to go back to Castle Entrance, so I'm just going to go do that. Your chat also lied about turkey mode. I turned turkey mode on for this round of PPFs and still got black capes. Well, then that that's supposed to be what turkey mode does. They didn't lie. There, there must be something else going on then. Because turkey mode uh, and the um, cape randomization is locked behind uh, each other. A lot of the miscellaneous... Like, if you were to boot up the randomizer on Sodan.io and do a custom seed that turned off turkey mode, you would also turn off cape randomization. So there must be something else going on. Didn't I just come from here? Yeah, but I also now I have Jewel of Open. That's why I'm coming back. I'm hoping this is Soul of Bat. Otherwise, I have to go to Merman, um, Holy Symbol, using Merman. Oops. God damn it. Yeah, you need Jewel of Open for this room. Ooh, it's Eye of Vlad. Okay, so yeah, it is Merman then. Oh, or it's Grand Falloon. Whoa. Thank you, Flying Grizzly. We're one third of the way toward, I probably didn't, ex I didn't expect you guys to, I always underestimate how supportive my community is. God damn it, you guys are so nice. You're so nice that you're gonna force me to do an any percent blindfolded run. I added the summoning salt music for specifically tier threes. Um, you know what? Let's go this way. Because we need to fill out the map anyways. So yeah, that's uh, 30. So we're at like 140-ish, probably. Partner plus points already. That's crazy. One week into the month? I have a... Not to say that it'll continue in that direction linearly. Because that's not how it works. But it does make me feel quite... Um, quite secure. Or more secure, I should say. That we we're, we're going to hit it this month. Nothing is guaranteed, but... It's giving me good vibes. You guys want to see some stupid map tiles? The right side of this waterfall is so dumb. These are probably like my second most hated set of map tiles. Because it just doesn't make any sense. Like... Like, where's the... Right there. Oh, no, we did get the one that's stupid. Sorry. Where's the other stupid one? 
Oh no, we, we got it. We got the one stupid one. It's logarithmic. Maybe. Yeah, because this is the... You, you get that for free. Okay. I was confusing myself. Why don't I land on the ice platform when I do that? Well, the caverns also has additional map tiles uh, in the reverse caverns that aren't in the normal caverns because of the way that the map works. It just is the, the nature of the fact that they went for a square grid. Um, oh, let me do this real quick while I'm here. They went for a square grid in a rooms that are just not square. Wow, life apple. And to be fair, I think having a square map makes sense for many reasons. So it's just a nature of the way that they programmed the map in this game and how it's just janky for many, many, many reasons. Okay, I have to turn Sword Bro off. He's going to lag the game too much. Oh, perfect. Life max up? Huge. So I'm trying to get all the map tiles by running across the floor here. That's all of them except for the end here. Okay, we're good. Wow, nice one, Bat. Yeah, Sword Bro is trying to slow down time to make it easier to react. Um, also, Silver Ring is the next relic? I'm supposed to go to? Huh? Shit. Gotta use the Warulf. <laughs> Can we start calling it Warulf from now on? Ugh. Big fingers, that's fine. I'm not trying to make fun of you, Crazy Four Blades. I mean, I read things wrong 100% of the time, so you typing things wrong every once in a while is perfectly fine. There's no shame in that. Um, man, I would love some library cards. Not gonna lie. All right. I mean, I have to come back here to complete the rest of this area anyways, and I'm kind of hoping I get snorkel by the time I do that. Omelette? I could do mines, but there's a non-zero chance that flight is bat. I mean, it's one third. It's a one third chance that flight is actually bat. So I should probably just go that direction because that will speed things up tremendously from here. And I could always warp back here later. Yo, what up, Deo? Thanks for the raid. Huge raid. How you doing, everybody? Welcome, welcome. We're doing a new Symphony of the Night randomizer preset here that uh, Zacho has made called Druid. Long story short, uh, there's some changes to the actual map itself that were created um, by Eldritch and a handful of other people. Uh, and those map changes got applied to this new preset as well as well as some changes to how MP works. And I decided it'd be fun to do a classic 200.6%. In fact, I could show you guys uh, this right here. 
normally those little guardrails are not in the game. This got added because of the randomizer. So the idea behind this idea right here is that you're not allowed to go into this area unless you have a transformation. So it changes the way that you interact with like the map and where relics can be. So that gives me access to this relic. So this relic location was guarded by needing a transformation, essentially. And there's a couple of other map changes. For example, like these platforms were added, stuff like that. It's it's honestly really, really cool that this stuff is possible. Um, Symphony of the Night ROM hacking has come a very, very long way in just the few short years that um, the randomizer has existed at all. So this, this preset has been uh, very, very cool. And I wanted to do a classic all map uh, version, uh, playthrough basically. And I'm playing in luck mode because, you know, it's supposed to make the game harder, but we're already a high enough level that it's not harder anymore. So it's a roguelite, not just items. No, 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 no. The map design changes are finite to every seed. They're not like randomized as well. So it's not like a roguelite. We're not, we're, we're not there yet. I have been seeing a lot of roguelike, roguelite, um, mods for different classic games, but Symphony of the Night is not there yet. Uh, Map-wise, we do want to clear all the map that we can. Dude, freaking goddamn flying chickens. That would be cool. I've been saying it would be cool. Um, it's just that we're not, we do have a small group of people working on a decomp, um, project for this game, decompiling the game's code. Uh, so hopefully in the future we can end up in a situation where hacking the actual castle itself can come a lot easier. There's the map tile. But it's probably going to take a, a while. Like, these changes alone are already a massive deal. But it's not a guarantee that, that that's going to lead to, you know, all of a sudden, more custom map changes. What up, baby? By the way, Deo, I hope, if you're still around, I hope you had a good stream. Sorry I didn't say that earlier. Whoop. Did I get the map tiles in there? No, I knew I was missing this one. Give me that. Nice. Yeah, Aperture and in it, um, and its offshoot Druid do help showcase the possibilities. It's I uh wait yeah Bat is at Silver Ring guaranteed. That's where I was going, and on the way I found both uh, Power of Mist and Leapstone, which is funny. Uh yeah. So we're gonna go find Bat then. You're right. And once we get Bat, then we can start exploring the rest of the castle much more efficiently. I'll grab these map tiles here while I am here. Maybe we can find a duplicator or something. Nope. That'd be nice. And before it's portal spell, I don't believe... I guess it is possible, yeah. Wait, what? You didn't give me those map tiles? Freaking... This game's ridiculous sometimes. I gotta get all up in this bell tower to get those map tiles. So silly. Yeah, symphonyrando.fun has a... Basically, uh... It's a website designed to just get you started with randomizer. You could also just go to the main randomizer website as well and get most of the same info. Um, and no, that's not true. You'll be missing a lot of info. But that's where the randomizer uh, is hosted is at Soten.io. If you just want to, like, get straight to trying the randomizer, you do that, I guess. But Symphony Rando, if you don't mind reading, takes care of pretty much everything. Appropriate domain. See, that's implying that we have fun playing the Symphony of the Night Randomizer. But what if, instead of fun, it was grueling and miserable? 
That's always an option as well. See, if you increase the map exploration radius, you'd probably just be collecting out-of-bounds map tiles, like, everywhere. It's probably one of the reasons why the dev team purposefully made some of the map difficult to collect, if I had to guess. But again, that's just a guess on my on my uh, part. There's Soul of Bat. Yeah, you were right, Matthias. This had to be Soul of Bat. All right, we might as well fill out the map while we're here for this section. Every time. I always miss one map tile when I do that strat, even in my 200.6% um, world record speed run. Now, will I come back to this area? I do need to, and there is a warp right there, so that's fine. I'll, I'll do that later. You know what? For funsies, come on, Grape Juice. If we get a random item, it's a 1 in 24 chance. Come on. Show me an item. Damn it. Never lucky. It doesn't matter if you get the good guy or the bad guy. It's just random if you get it or not. Um. Yeah, I'll go this way. That's fine. Because we got to clear up the, the map tiles here as well. Because now it's we're on cleanup duty. This cape is very pink. Imagine liking pink. Ew, gross. Couldn't be me. I don't need that. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Thought it was only the good guy? No, it doesn't matter. The bad guy can drop uh, grape juice as well. Obviously, in the randomizer, it's a random item. But it's still a very rare chance. At least I believe it's 1 in 24. That's what I remember last time I was talking to the rando dev. And we were talking about, like, just miscellaneous items and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, because I was trying to do a challenge where I collected every item in a randomizer to see if I could complete the entire item uh, set or whatever. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is a random item. What, what are the odds that it's here? And they were like, oh, 1 in 24. And I'm like, oh. Oh. I think I got it. Ooh, shield rod. Nice. Um, I got it relatively easily. It wasn't too difficult. And that's... Wait, I missed a map on the other side? That's fine. You know what? Do you only get one chance at it? No, you can retry. But you have to sit through the entire animation every time. Someone doing the confession booth in a randomizer, like, tournament race, I would shit my pants. Especially if they got the drop first try. Because it is exceptionally rare. These map tiles are very finicky. Yeah, like, I already missed a map tile here. Dude, fuck off. Where is it? Where's the corner square? Oh, do you see how dumb this freaking game's map is? This is a perfect example of this. My ass is blinking inside the square, and it is yet to give me the map tile. You seeing this shit? Good video game, by the way. Wow, Symphony of the Night, that's a good video game right there. Zero bugs, zero glitches. And now I get it, okay. 
It's annoying, man. Where is Bane? I've been asking this. Well, do they code it to be pixel perfect or something? I don't know. I actually don't know why it is what it is. I just know that it is what it is. Oh my god, I freaking another map tile. There we go, we got it. Also 69 health, let's go. It just, yeah, it kind of just works. I was going to heal, but then I was like, nah, I need to keep the 69 as long as possible. It's weird. I don't know, man. This game is full of weird oddities. Once the decomp people start working on what makes the, the map work and stuff like that, we'll probably have a better understanding, but that could take a while. Okay. And then I do need... It sucks. I'm split on where I should go. I'm going to go this way. We just have a lot of map to cover. We haven't even gone to the second castle yet, and we're an hour in. But actually, that's not that bad. Time-wise, I think we're doing just fine. All right, I'll come back to the Marble Gallery later, because there is a warp that's relatively close. Also, 68 HP. I am so upset at myself. I'm ashamed. I should uninstall. Yeah, we'll go this way. Because we haven't done this side of the uh, Alchemy Lab yet. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba. And that's where we came from. Let's get the save room. Ow. Damn, I'm just getting hit by everything because I am so overpowered that it does not bother me. Have I seen the news about the live-action Zelda movie? I haven't. And also, it's probably because maybe this makes me a fake gamer. I don't... Uh, I'm... I... I don't... Care. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. I don't. It's so hard for me to care about movies. I haven't seen like a movie in forever. But that's because I'm also a degenerate that doesn't watch anything that isn't content. <laughs> I know. I'm not. I wish I could be a normie sometimes who likes TV shows and movies. The last TV show I saw was the Castlevania animated series, which was good. But I just don't know. I just have brain worms that is like, if it's not on YouTube, if it's not on Twitch, I'm not watching. Minus 69 subs. I'm sorry. I I know that I'm in the wrong for this. I know I'm weird for, for being like this, but I just can't help it. Because it, in the movie, nobody in the movie says, what's up? It's your boy at the start of the movie. So how am I supposed to know what's going on? If Mr. Beast doesn't introduce the movie, how am I supposed to enjoy it? I want my my slop. I want my content slop delivered on a a, a, a platter, please. Thank you. Oh, we could also do this uh, secret real quick. Also, it's cheaper that way. Also, sorry about ads if you're on Twitch. Uh, the automated ads. We've been streaming for a while. They're, they're going to come through. Uh, am I doing this right? Yeah, there we go. The way you open this room up is by going back and forth in that cave while in wolf and then in bat form, and it's very, very silly. One of the sillier secrets that exists in this game. Uh, I should have gotten this map tile while I was over here. I think I also just have a hard time caring about large media franchises nowadays because they're all so corporate and weird. I feel like if I had a ear um, or like an inside understanding of seeing like independent films then probably I would actually watch a lot more film but something something about just like 
normal Hollywood large blockbusters just makes me want to explode. I I just cannot be bothered. Even like mid-tier Hollywood productions just make me so bored. And then TV on top of that, it's like, what, am I going to pay for cable? No. Am I going to pay for the 1,200 like, subscription services you're supposed to have to watch everything? No. I don't know. It just, it just doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel great to be a consumer of movies and TV. But maybe I'm wrong on that. But regardless, I should be aware of what's going on in the world of Zelda movie because it is like a big news thing for gamers because it's being made by the minion studio and everyone loves minions and everyone loves mario so i should just you know shut up and accept that this is the world that we live in why pay when you can watch it for free elsewhere true Well, the reason why to pay, to be honest, like, there's a reason why when Netflix was originally a thing, online piracy of TV shows and movies went down drastically. Same thing goes for Spotify um, and uh, pirating um, music. The number of people who were pirating online once the actual services uh became convenient to use it was like oh yeah of course i'll 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 go ahead and uh just buy the the streaming service and then i can listen to all the music i want or i can watch all the tv i want and then those companies are like okay now that we have a large subscription base we're gonna jack up the prices and also make the service worse and shove in a bunch of ads then all of a sudden uh-oh piracy's on the rise again who would have thought Who could have foreseen such a thing? Ow. Um, I'm gonna die? That would be very unfortunate. I don't have sword card or fairy card either. I have a potion. Soul steel to keep me a little bit healthy. Okay. I'm gonna do one more soul. Oh, I have a sirline. We're fine. Oh god. Just go fast. I also could have used wolf form down here, actually, now that I think about it, and maybe that would have been better. Either way. Um. I don't want to go up this way because it's awkward, so I'm going to go this way. I'll just do a lap. It's better to go down than it is to go up. Through that room. Why is that loin a sir? Uh, I got knighted for uh, covering up horrific crimes of the royal family. Pretty much how everybody else gets knighted nowadays. <laughs> oh. Stark criticisms of the royal family. Who would have thought in a stream about Symphony of the Night? How delectable. Anyways, that's, that's all you're getting. I... I couldn't give a shit about Britain, though. On oh, God. Monarchy in 2023? Get real. Get real. Come on. Same goes for you, Sweden. You're not... A, just because you're a social democracy doesn't mean that I'm not going to look at you funny for having a fucking monarchy. Come on. Come on, get out of here. Have a dysfunctional democracy like the rest of the world. Grow up. Get real. All right, I'm done. I need to stop. You guys need to let, you guys need to tell me to stop. God, I'm annoying. Alrighty. 
<laughs> Speaking of established titles, isn't it crazy that that was just a scam? Who would have thought? Wait, an untraceable thing uh, where I can buy a piece of paper that says technically I own land? Hmm, that can't possibly be ripe for abuse. Oh my God. But hey, get that bag. What can I say? Get that bag. The British are coming. Oh, man. <laughs> kind of sounds like buying the rights to an online image, yeah. No, I think it just goes to show that, like, the way the internet is, I didn't need to do this. I have missed. This is just funnier this way, whatever. The way the internet is, I feel like scams and new types of scams are gonna pop up all the time. And it's gonna be increasingly difficult for people to, um, you know what? We're having fun. This is a fun playthrough. Let's check out the, uh, the old people. Nice. I think it will become increasingly difficult for people um, to get used to the new types of scams as technology continues to make things more difficult for the normal person to understand what the fuck is real and what's not. Did we ever find out why a fish randomly appears sometimes? Nope. Not that I'm aware of. There might be somebody that knows, but I'm not that guy. I don't know. But the fish is nice. It could just be one of those miscellaneous, like, here's an Easter egg for the sake of having an Easter egg that exists in this game. This game is full of those, so. Let's get the rest of these map tiles as well. Because I'm pretty sure it's time to move on to the second castle. Almost? I do need to warp. Yeah, we'll clear up these map tiles. We'll go... Do I get out of bounds map tiles for clipping through the floor? Because I want to avoid doing out of bounds map tiles. No, I do it in the 200.6% uh, run. So I should be fine to clip and grab um, holy glasses that way, I'm pretty sure. So... Alan Dill, thank you for the 16 months. Much appreciated. I hope you're doing well. I don't know if you can do 200.6 without going out of bounds. It's very possible, yeah. Because how else are we going to get the final map tiles in um, inverted marble gallery? So, Shadow Lancer, thank you for the tier one. Getting us ever so close to that partner plus requirements for this month. Cool input reader, thank you. I didn't make it myself. Uh, who was it? I said it earlier on on stream. Was it Tom Wood? I think their name is Tom Wood. It's just called Input Display by Tom Wood. Fred Wood, thank you. Input Display by Fred Wood. Fred Wood make an input display, that bastard. I already made that joke earlier, but I'm reusing it. It's called Recycling Guys. It's good for the environment. Thankfully, I actually have a strap for this room because this is a room that we do stuff in for the actual 200.6% speedrun. Although I could probably make it faster because I have gravity boots as well. But whatever. All right. Can you please do... You won't do damage to me, but you will. Yeah. All right. Now I'm not allowed to take any more damage for the rest of the run or level up. Challenge accepted. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three. Wait, I need one more heart. No, that's too big of a heart. I need one more heart. God damn it. No. Ugh. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One heart! Yes! The double 69! We've done it! Wait, I'm missing a map tile. Fuck. This is dangerous. I might take damage. Okay, we got it. And I'm also trying to avoid the hearts at the same time. I'm trying to keep the 69 going as long as I possibly can. Oh god. Ooh. No! Leave me alone! No, 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 don't touch me! No, no, no! This is so stressful. I'm making this so stressful for no reason. Ah! I just want to... Please, let me be nice! I just want to be nice! Please, leave me alone! I actually have strats for this part of the ra um, collecting map. Knuckle Duster? <laughs> Sounds like me and your mother. Anyways. Yeah, the 69, unfortunately, is ruined. I tried my best, guys. I really did. On the me bright side, actually, hold on. We found a karma coin, you know what that means. If you're on the Twitch chat right now. I'm asking a simple question of heads or tails. You know what you must do. Uh, what map am I missing now? It's just Aurox's quarters. And clock room? Yeah, Aurox's quarters up until chapel clock room, and I think that's everything. Welcome back, Shredder. Yeah, go crazy with your channel points, guys. All in on heads, that is a bet that you can make. That is correct. You are technically allowed to do that. Do I recommend it? I don't know. I'm not your financial advisor. Put your you can put your garnet coin wherever you feel it's most safe. A lot of people are feeling like the tails index is uh about to make a, a big jump upwards. Alucard 99? No, Alucard 69 currently. Just got off the phone with my finance guy. He told me Tails never fails. You gotta listen to me, Jack. Tails never fails. Your money's as sure as safe in the... the, 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 the uh, all in on Tails. The markets never let me down. Uh, okay. Now, we turn around, we do... Yeah, 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 we turn around. We do a floor clip to get the Holy Glasses location figured out. And then from there, we're done with the first castle? Oh no, we have to do freaking mines and uh, the rest of mines and catacombs. I forgot. But we can do those last, I guess. Hopefully we find a library card by then. I just voted Tails because of that. Your guy better be good. That's the thing, is if you just invest... If you look at the people who are constantly winning, 
and you invest exactly the same way they invest, you'll surely make 10 quadrillion dollars in Garnet Coin. Garnet Coin is not, uh, not for, for resale, uh, no, has zero resale value, uh, my lawyers are advising me to say that this is all, uh, made up and not real, and, uh, gambling is bad, actually. There's one tile left of clock room. Yeah, 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 I got it. I got it. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm, I'm double checking the map as often as I can. There's the save room down here. And then I think after that we can go to. Yeah. Oh, God. We're doing the save room and then we're doing uh, holy glasses. There's the save room. Okay, I'm gonna try this exactly one time before we do like the speedrun setup, but I'm gonna YOLO this. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Oops, I messed up the speedrun setup and I need to turn off Power of Mist. Oh my God, I cannot see my Dude, I can't see my normal setup because the map's in the way. Wait, I thought I turned Power of Wolf off. Oh, Power of Mist. God. My ass is silly. I read Power and I'm like, oh, that one. Duh. Power of Doggo. Dude, map buffering's hard. All right, when I'm done with this, we will, um... Do the coin flip. There we go. We shouldn't see any flashing lights so long as I do this properly. There we go. Why don't we have a power of kitty? True, the game is um, uh, surely speciest. That's how that works. Um, hold on. You know, karma coin, AKA a bomb type weapon. Yo, should have done this earlier. The Jolly symbol. All right. Here's karma coin number one. Let's see it. Obviously it was tails, because last time it was heads, guys. We all know this. Otherwise, it's not a 50-50. Actually, 61% of you guys knew it was going to be tails. Tails indeed never fails. Big winner, big winner. But the issue is, is we have another karma coin still. So... I mean, we gotta do something with it. What can I say? When you when the guy says all in on tails, tails never fails. You go all in on tails. All right. Okay, so that's... Oh, yeah, I need to also... I keep forgetting. We gotta check gravity boots. Which is also locked behind a new door. Hey! Silver ring. We don't need that because we uh, glitched to get past the thing that we needed that for. But that's fine. So, yeah, now we go warp. Do the catacombs, the mines. And then from there, it's second castle time. And then we're done. Is that Stream Elements guy a bot? Probably not. Nah, he's real. Quick, uh, ask him a question with uh, exclamation mark um, drops. And Stream Elements will surely respond to you in a non-bot-like fashion.
Mines, please. No, that was the mines! Give me the snake head. I need snake head. Please don't clip that out of context, actually. Yeah, I'll get the uh, stream elements bot working on YouTube chat one of these days. You have to like, the issue with using um, stream elements as a chat bot is you can't copy and paste your settings between YouTube and Twitch. So I have to do everything manually and it takes forever. So I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. I apologize everyone in YouTube chat. Muramasa, that's the best weapon in the game if you're willing to spend 50 hours grinding. Yeah, I kind of understand why they don't have just like a copy option. But also at the same time, I kind of don't understand why. No! That's it. Burn it to the ground. Everyone must die. No survivors. They ruined my perfect run. Oh, I spec bigger run. So how does the multi-streaming thing work? Essentially, Twitch just allows you to stream to as many co, like, platforms as you want. There's just a few rules around, like, what's allowed to be on the streams if you're doing that. Like, I'm not allowed to put, ooh, finally, a duplicator. I'm not allowed to put uh, other channel chat messages onto the actual replay of the stream, except for Twitch messages. And a library card? Dude, this place is actually busted! Duplicator and library card. That library card was also vanilla, by the way. What the hell? Now we have infinite Gamba. Forever. Wait, that, that library card is guaranteed? Or are you joking? Because if that's actually guaranteed, then now I feel less special and you've ruined my day. Wow, you've, I can't believe. You basically told me that magic isn't real. I can't believe you. I will never forgive you. A second library card, it doesn't matter, baby. Magic is real. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. That one, that one was 100% random. Wait, what? Guys, I'm trapped. No, what? How could this happen? I've never done that before. I didn't know if you only break the bottom one. It respawns. Yeah, joke's on you, I don't read. Reading is uh, not allowed. It's it's uh, it's banned. Uh, that is caverns done, except for the boss fight. And then we can library card out. Dude, that's first castle done. It only took an hour and a half. Grab these map tiles real quick. Oh, it's Gamba time? All right. To make things fair, I'm not putting on the duplicator because that is RNG manipulation. We're not allowed to use the duplicator for this one. Let's see it. It's Tails again! It seriously never fails 82% when in on Tails. Dude, whoever your finance guy is, I need to talk to him. I need to start uh, diversifying my portfolio, right? It just never fails. It literally never fails. All right, one more. Last coin flip, unless we find another Karma coin. Oh, also, uh, can I get uh, some boners to please rise up? It'd be greatly appreciated if you did. Oh, we can take advantage of the uh, reverse library card for this 200.6% uh, speed run, actually. That's actually kind of huge. Kind of huge. 
What is Joel? A miserable spinning uh, pile of fish? I don't know. That's the best I got. Ooh, Iron Shield. That's fun. True, it's always Tails, so long as I flip the coin in uh, Symphony of the Night. Project Omega, you are on to something. Joel is life. Joel is, is, is all things. All things at once. Concurrently, all the time. All right. I'm out of water, which means for the rest of this run, I'm going to be dehydrated. You know what I... Mm, no, actually, I can't do it. There's a glitch you can do to go out of bounds to do Richter skip, but that would give me out of bounds map tile, and I'm trying to avoid that. I'll just do this instead. It's oh, I have holy glasses on already. It's fine. Joel Steel. Just have beans play for a minute while I get water. Not a bad idea. Yeah, we did the Richter skip skip, obviously. Okay, you guys want to see something really stupid? I'll show you guys something real stupid. So if you look right above me, oh, I did miss a tile. Thank you for pointing that out. You have to warp back to the first castle and jump to get that map tile. Why? I don't know. This game's silly. Why is there a map tile above the teleporter? That's got to be most people's like missed map tile, right? Or one of them when they're trying to do 200.6. Because who thinks to jump up there? All right, that should be every map tile in the first cast. Oh, no! It shows one missing. We're at 1,005? Wait, reverse? Catacombs didn't... Huh? That's impossible. That's actually impossible. Because how did I get into the room, but not go through the one connection that goes into that room? And also, the Holy Glasses one is also impossible. That might be a bug with the randomizer, or with the tracker, maybe. I think the tracker can sometimes bug some of the map tiles. If the room count is correct at the end of the game, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I deliberately checked Grand Floon's ceiling. Yeah, so the tracker is just being a little silly right now. That's fine. Like I said, we'll we'll figure out. We'll figure it out at the end of the uh, second castle if I need to go back and do more tiles or not. It just is unfortunate. On the bright side, I can basically just do the 200.6% speedrun strats. Because I have everything that I need to do that.
Okay, I really missed that map tile. Stupid game. Also, for whatever reason, that giant skull is missing its eyes in the second castle. I think they fixed that on the Xbox version, if I remember correctly, but I could be wrong. Are you and Mouse the only two moderators for no major glitches? Currently, yes. There are no other moderators for the leaderboard extensions. And I'm going to keep it 100% with you. Mouse ain't looking at that shit. <laughs> at least not any time recently. He hasn't. But I try and at least once a week check the leaderboard. I'll grab it. Why not? Spike card. Delicious. All right, let's have some fun. You sent your PB? Nice. Well, congrats on the PB. I'll make sure to check it out soon. Ah, I knew I would miss one. There it is. Look at the edge of the screen. You guys seeing this? You can, like, see into the background. This actually showcases how misaligned the, um, the room is. Like, you can see Alucard poking through. For those that don't know, that room is, like, slightly misaligned, and there's some glitches that are caused by that. Uh, I can probably showcase one here. Right there. You can bonk on this wall because of the misalignment. I'll try and showcase another one actually here in a second. Yeah, reverse gear puzzle. It's so fun. Uh, my favorite part is how much it sucks. Oh, wait, it got patched in the randomizer, didn't it? Because this is supposed to bonk 100% of the time. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's not patched. There it is. So this should zip me out of bounds. Yep, there it is. So that zip can get you like stuck in the wall, but it's technically faster if you can get it first try in 200.6 because it gives you an extra map tile quickly. That soft lock got patched in the first castle, I think, it, because it can't soft lock you in the second castle. Or at least it shouldn't be able to, from my understanding. So it doesn't get uh, patched in the second castle. Cake ticket? Oh, I should show that off, actually. I'll show off the cake ticket before I forget. I have the duplicator on, right? Yeah, I do. There we go. It's cake time. 
lots and lots of cake. All right, we're we're gaming. We're we're filling out that uh that shit. Let me put the Vorpal back on, cause it's just nice to have a Vorpal. It would be nice to have Mulblong as well. Nice. That was not guaranteed to be Mulblong. It was one of a few possible uh, items, but Mulblong, no. You know what? Actually, now that I think about it, you know what would be a fun category to actually do 200.6 for? Batmaster. I feel like Batmaster would be so much fun. With the, the faster bat movement, it would probably be really easy to do. Maybe we do that uh, next time I want to do a 200.6% randomizer. We'll do Batmaster. But you know what? Because I can, and because it's funny, I'm going to use my library card. Probably not sub hour with Batmaster, no. But it'd probably be like an hour 30 ish. It'd probably be similar to the world record. If I had to guess. Game after creature? Yes, thank you for reminding me. Or a heart max up. Yucky. Yeah, we got both here. Whoa. This place is laggy. It's almost like there's too many freaking enemies in here. Ice cream, so good. Ice cream is so good. Have you guys ever heard that one before? Because, like, ooh, cheese. In case you weren't aware, ice cream is indeed so good. There is a table there. It was gone in the glitch preset. Oh, uh, that happens. It um, Certain items and assets can be uh, removed from the randomizer to make room for uh, additional like item locations. It's hard to explain, but essentially uh, the randomizer kind of cheats the game a little bit because you're not normally supposed to place additional items anywhere, and there's always a chance that one of the key relic locations can actually be a progression item, AKA like gold ring, silver ring, whatever. So because of that, um, certain items can randomly just get removed from the game. Or sorry, certain like candles that can lead to items can get removed from the game. So that's normal for the randomizer. That's everything, right? Yeah, that's everything. Yeah, the entire table is considered the entity that, I guess, holds that item. Oh, God! Bonk. All right, it's time. 169! All right, it's time. Varda for extra luck. The last karma coin. Let's see it. What's it gonna be? Tails! <laughs> Don't tell me you guys voted tails again. Bro. 52% on tails. Tails legitimately never fails. That's four tails in a row. Wow. Wow. Dude, that guy. You should have listened to that one guy's uh, financial advisor. Clearly, they did state that Tails never fails. It's essentially printing money at that point.
You think it's burned into the preset? That would be so funny. If the preset forced Tails only, uh, for this freaking, uh, Karma Coins. Just to mess with streamers who are trying to gamba with their chat. I'd be down, fuck it. Or change the ratio so it's not actually 50-50. Yeah, isn't it funny that this giant-ass room is essentially just two map tiles that you can collect by standing here and then here? The map in this game is so silly sometimes. And that's the whole room. Yo, what up, Jin? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right. We're chilling. We're completing the map. Having a fun time doing it. We've had a ton of support on today's stream, which I greatly appreciate. Five tier threes today. I was expecting to have this 15 uh, tier three goal like all month. And we're like a third of the way through on the first day. So I'm very, very, very appreciative of that. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, if we can hit that partner plus, that's a massive benefit to me and a big stress reliever for me. Tomorrow we get 10 more. Dude, if we get a, that many tier threes and I have to do any percent because I'm not ready to do blindfolded any percent. I need to like practice and stuff. Uh, I think this is the breakable one. Yeah, it is. So clearly I need to start practicing now is what I'm figuring out. And nothing's guaranteed with Partner Plus yet, because we still have the rest of November and December before we could even uh, theoretically apply, because we got October's requirements. But after that, we still got to get the rest of them, so. Peanuts. No, I'm going to probably have a strat that doesn't have to worry about the Red Skeleton. I'll, I'll find the actual good speedrun blindfolded strats instead of the baby ones that I was, like, making up on the fly. No, I'm going to be doing actual blindfolded speedruns, not, like, the have you guys tell me where to go. Because <laughs> that was fun, don't get me wrong. But I should do a real, like, blindfolded speedrun. Like, no assistance. It's something that I've been like kind of debating doing on and off for the last uh yeah Bubsia style basically I've been debating doing one for a long time ever since Rom Scout did his um like forever ago and I was like man I'll never be good enough to do that Zeal? Uh, no, I haven't really played much Celeste since then, but it was fun. Celeste is a great game. I'm surprised you actually found that video. It's uh, one of my lesser viewed video videos in general, the one of me playing Celeste. But it's a great game. I had a lot of fun playing it. Soden, but you have to play by watching your stream? Oh my god. Wait. How would I even show that, though? I'm trying to think conceptually how I would go about doing that. Because that sounds very funny. 
So I have to play the game using the stream delay. Can you do the... If you're touching a ceiling, can you not do that? Because that makes sense, because you can't do blade dashes when you're touching a ceiling. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it'd be like five seconds of lag. Yeah. It seems like if you're too close to a ceiling, you can't do Power of Wolf. Or, sorry, the Skill of Wolf. Interesting. Oh, shit. I forgot what we were doing. Wait, can I get all the map tiles here? I should be able to, right? Oh, my God. Dude, I'm bad at the game. I guess we'll find out. It looks like I'm able to get them all. Yeah, it looks like I can get these. It's pretty much the same as the glitchy map tiles in the normal game. In fact, these ones aren't even that bad. Yeah, these map tiles are, like, less glitchy, dude. That's very funny. we didn't forget those we didn't forget any map tiles there we have to fall back down okay song to have for this section. Blindfolded Rando would just be impossible, yeah. Because the whole point of randomizers, you need to memorize the game. And as soon as the game is random, you can't really reliably do that. At least I can't think of a way to reliably do that. I feel like you'd have to just get um, lucky. Have I tried Soden Reborn? Um, no. That uh, mod only works on EPSXE, and that is an emulator that I refuse to use. Also, I'm just not... I want to be honest, rebalance mods for this game tend to miss the mark for my personal taste for this game. So I usually just end up playing through them and am frustrated the whole time, so I avoid rebalance mods for this game. I don't think they're very fun. My enjoyment of this game comes from, like, mastering the movement and routing of the castle. It doesn't come from, wowzers, Galamoth has double the health? He's gonna be so hard. Like that doesn't pers personally make me excited at all to play the game. Dude, can we not? There we go. But that's just my own personal preference. I mean, to be fair, most balance changes hacks, they try and do more than just manipulate the, the, um, 
values. It, like, they try and change, like, which weapons are available where, or, like, they'll try and, like, make more enemies spawn or something like that, which is fine. I feel like those are unique and possibly interesting ways to play through the game, but most of the time, for me, it's just not as enjoyable. And also, again, no offense to anybody who spends their free time making these, like, free mods or whatever. Like, good on you. I don't think there's, like, you shouldn't be embarrassed or ashamed for doing that. However, the people who are spending their time doing that aren't necessarily... Um, I'm surprised this isn't open. The beacons of level design... Like, I... The people who spend their time making balance hacks oftentimes do not have the same level of tact and understanding as, like, a professional balance designer in a video game, world, like, a professional video game space. Because these are, these are, at the end of the day, like, and no derogatory, uh, like, non-derogatory, they are amateurs, right? And there's nothing wrong with being an amateur. In fact, being an amateur is, um, can be very useful and preferred for certain types of things, but in, like, the gaming industry, to, like, have a fresh set of eyes on something. But in this context, you could end up missing the mark on some things. It, it's like the Mario Maker dilemma, right? where everyone can make their own Mario levels, and what do 99% of players make when they have that freedom? Just enemy spam garbage with zero tact or design elements whatsoever, right? And to me, that's just not very fun. Some people do find the, the absurd, absurdity to be entertaining in and of itself. I'm just not one of those people. And I'd rather not tarnish my view of my favorite game by playing a mod that is designed to make people frustrated. You know what I mean? I guess that's a very long, long-winded way of me saying that most ROM hacks are just not for me. They're just not for me. Like, if I really want to challenge myself, I'll go speedrun the game and try and get a new world record. That, to me, is challenging and fair and fun and interesting. Because it's me versus the game. And not me versus some guy who has way too much time on their hands that thinks it's funny to make uh, you do one damage and everything kills you in one hit and also there's 10 million extra enemies. Like, I, like, that's not a challenge, that's just tedium. Like you, you've lost, you've lost the, the point at that point. Not to say that every hack is like that, but oftentimes they end up leaning in that direction, which is unfortunate. I feel like it's a pit hole that a lot of designers of hacks or even like fan games fall into. Yeah, there's a reason why Exposing yourself to nothing but, like, amateur made video game stuff is just, can be tough. But every once in a while, those hacks do have really, really good ideas, and I, I, I commend them for that. It's just that, you know, having a good idea does not mean that your hack is, like, perfect and enjoyable and better than the original game. All right, I'll just do the... Dude, he keeps kicking me in the face. There we go. Freaking jerk. Can I get a... Don't I have a second floor pull? Thank you. 
How different is low percent to any percent? In this game, it depends on which low percent you're talking about. There's many different types of low percent. There's low percent mist, low percent bat, low percent wolf. And in a task setting, I believe there's low percent leapstone. Or low percent fairy card is also an option. But those are like tasks only, really. And they're all very different. Are there task submissions to the SRC leaderboard? No. There are task submissions to taskvideos.org. But by definition, speedrun.com does not accept... Uh, at least by default, speedrun.com does not accept uh, task videos. At least the Soden community doesn't. I'm not aware of any other community that accepts task videos on speedrun.com. What does the acronym of TAS stand for? It stands for um, uh, Toes Are uh, Suckable. I don't know. I can't. I'm not funny enough anymore. Forgot a tile. Bruh. Anyways. Yeah, I just straight up forgot that map tile. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, can you stop? Thank you. I'm getting a little, whew, two hours in. This randomizer is uh, long. Yep. It filled in normally, so I don't know. That must have been me. I mean, it was me. Those first castle map tiles I'm a little sus about, but we'll see. Bad seed will update preset. Yeah, obviously you need to update it so it's easier to do 200.6%, obviously. There's probably a better route I could be taking that takes advantage of the reverse library card and the open warps a little bit better, but I doubt it. Uh, I've done commentary on some Soten tasks before, but I'm not the most knowledgeable on all of the task stuff. Usually whenever I do that, I try and get the person who made the task to commentate it with me, but most of the task makers for this game are just kind of like not as involved anymore. Okay. And I just don't want to bother them. Are they up on YouTube? Uh, maybe? It depends. That can have unintended consequences, Zacho, of just making the actual end product of the preset more annoying to play through. That ended up happening for speedrun presets, where the speedrun preset, in theory, should be fun because you're actually getting to use all the speedrun knowledge that you have, but being forced to use out of logic flight as your primary form of flight for an entire seed can be very draining and frustrating. It's one of the reasons why most nobody, pretty much nobody does speedrun preset anymore. Because the type of movement that is required for basically the entire seed just ends up being frustrating. Most of the time. Nice katana. That's not vanilla, is it? Does that guy normally drop katana? 
I can't remember. I think they're all bad. Like, gravity boots plus transformation as your primary form of flight is just annoying. It's just not fun. And most of the time, doing those checks out of logic by having access to it doesn't necessarily, like, ruin a seed. But you're always guaranteed to find a different form, more convenient form of flight later on. So I don't know. I don't think adding the speed run, like wolf plus gravity boots or like mist plus gravity boots is fun. It's one, again, I don't think any of those are, are great for enjoyability of the preset. But that's just my opinion. Swimmy wolf is your favorite? Heck yeah. I do love Swimmy Wolf. I mean, we're almost halfway done with this castle. There's that. Check these out. Jerk. What? Thank you. What a silly map dial. You know, I'm going to go through the warp cycle at some point anyways to get to the end of the game, so I think that's fine. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to... No, I'm supposed to warp back to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am supposed to warp from here. I remember now. Because I should be able to warp to... Yeah. One more. New to the stream, but oh, you've seen the YouTube videos. Uh, thank you, Zorak. I'm glad you enjoy the YouTube videos, and I'm glad you made it to the stream. We're finishing up a 200.6% uh, randomizer speed run real quick. We should be done in like next 30 minutes, I think. Thank you, Playhouse, for the prime. Souls and make them your slaves. I appreciate the support. What does Druid mean? It essentially uh, is the type of randomizer. Um, there's a lot of stuff that Druid does. It makes the cost of wolf transformation, for example, a lot cheaper. Normally, you'd be losing a lot more magic for running into candles while in wolf transformation like that. 
Um, all of the warps are available from the start. There's a handful of other additional, like, um, map changes to reflect, um, to, like, make it so that way having all the warps unlocked is, doesn't, like, completely break the pace of the game. So there's, like, additional locks in different places. Oops. Yeah, there's lots of changes. We're at the end game now, so most of those changes don't end up mattering because we already have most everything that we need. Burger. But uh, actually coming up, we'll have one of the major changes to show off coming up in a second here. in uh, all Rox's quarters. But I need to do this first. I believe I'm supposed to grab this map tile and then leave, if I remember correctly. Then I grab this. Yeah, the lag is, you know what? Stopwatch will help. Can you move? Thank you. Gotta do this room. I don't need that. And I got the map for it. Good. Owie! Uh... No! I got stoned! We're missing some map. It's okay, though. We'll go back for it in a second. Spaghetti! No! Okay, well, we got the map for it. It's fine. So yeah, this is all new. This uh, whole thing. This was added to make sure make sure that um, getting to Aquadon is just a little bit harder, and you need a different set of relics in order to do it. So you either need Mist or Power of Mist, or you need Bat and uh, Spike Breaker, because it's a very tight squeeze that you can't fit through normally as Alucard. And if you're in Bat form, you need to be able to break the spikes. So it has a few, like, map mods, which is cool. Let me get the map tiles up here. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're looking good. Ooh, diamond. We don't need it, though. Oh, we found the portal spell. You guys remember the portal spell? I don't think we're going to end up using it. But that's another thing that's different about this game, is in order to get to the final boss without uh, going out of bounds, you use the portal spell that warps you directly there after you found all five of the Vlad relics. In fact, if I had used the portal spell and warped there, I would have had to use a library card to leave, I think. Which would have been annoying. Those are the most forgettable tiles. They can be, yeah, the tops of boss rooms. I mean, we're almost done. I'm gonna get that warp later. Because we're gonna warp back here later. Yeah, we're just ignoring all the items now because we have everything we need. We have a duplicator. We have two Vorpals. That's like more than enough damage. We have two Vardas. 
We're good. Grab these map tiles. Damn it. I'll have you know on the Dragon Blitz main channel, I, Mr. Dragon Blitz, have beaten the game in well under an hour and 30 minutes. Thank you very much. With 200.6% completion. And it is world record. The Dragon Blitz Daily Guy can suck eggs. Well, there's the final bud. Cool damage boost. Didn't mean to do it, but it was cool. Can we get those map tiles for free? Nice. I might be able to reroute this uh, room in 200.6 now that I think about it. I feel like the route I do is a little less optimal, but... What up, Day Farmer? Nothing in Soden is free. Sometimes it's just free. Sometimes map tiles are free. You don't have to work for them. <sighs> Maps looking good. I don't think I missed any of the stuff that I'm not intentionally trying to miss. Yeah, the only thing that's free in Soden is gambling all of your channel points on Tails. That is very true. It's guaranteed to be free money. What are the green spots? Those refer to locations that have the potential to have a relic. It's part of the relic tracker. Simply just wing smash him to death, and he dies. Oops, I meant to open the map. Oh, we are missing a map tile over there. I'm going to go grab that before I leave. So this has to be Echo. Yep. Where the heck is normal fairy card? We must have skipped it on accident. Um, I mean, we have to do a lap around this area anyways, no matter what, so whatever. Yeah, 
Ow. Ow. Such intense music for map completion. The most intense part of playing the video game. Oh god. We're getting through it, we're getting through it. Grab these map tiles. That map done. Okay. Did we get this? We did not. Gotta grab this. Grab that map tile. Missing any, yeah, I'm missing these ones. Here we go down. We're actually really close to being done here. All I have left is Marble Gallery? And the end of the game? Actually need this for the one of the last item or one of the last rooms. Yeah, we're still playing the druid preset. We've been playing for two hours, trying to get all the map. We're almost done. Gotta go down here. that map done it's this map Here you go this way that done okay so all that's left is a couple more locations you know what up zero maverick glad you were able to stop by a live stream on twitch appreciate that i'm glad you enjoy the youtube Uh-oh. So all the map is not possible to get then, huh? With the save room being gone. That's fine, actually. You know what? I think I might be able to work around this. 
So I end up in that wall, and then it zips me down. Maybe I can wing smash through this wall? Hmm. I might be able to figure out something. I didn't think that that room was completely, like, removed. I've never actually gone over there to check. I can... Do I have two heart refreshes? I do. Okay, I can do shift lines. To get into that room then. That should be actually, I should go do that now. I'm gonna warp over there. And then I'm gonna go do that. And then I think we're big chilling. Yeah, I am happy I get to do, uh, dual, do dual streams as well, uh, Senior Bagel. Very happy about that. We're at one nine five six. That feels low to me. Oh, I'm going to be clearing out a lot of rooms actually right now on the way over there. Because I have this whole section, this part of uh, Inverted All Rocks' quarters that I haven't done, that leads into the clock. And then from there, I'll do the shift lines. And we should be fine. Hopefully. If not then we might have to do a little bit of um, extracurricular exploration. This is gonna take a little while. You know what? We'll do a little bit of cheating. A minor amount of cheating never hurt nobody. All right, flashing screen warning. Very much intense flashing screen warning. I apologize. We should eventually... There we go. And you can open your eyes, everything's fine. Now the question is, do we soft lock here? No. Yes? No. Huh. Very interesting. I wonder how that works. So if everything is correct. Okay, we are missing a lot of rooms and I don't know why. Here we're missing the one save room for sure. Is it possible that we lose the rooms that get messed up because of the tracker? Is that a thing? Let me check the first castle real quick. Let me go back to those locations and check something. Because we're at 1977 and we should be at over 2,000. 
easily we should be at over 2,000. Because this, because it's more than three rooms missing, and when there's only like actually four rooms missing here. Middle of the castle. Well, that's the thing is I got that map tile already, so I'm confused. Yes, if you weren't here earlier, I had already gotten that map tile. And now I don't have it anymore. Yes, I am aware of the missing map tile in the... Guys, listen to the words that I am saying before you type. I had already gotten that map tile, and it is not showing up on the map. Same with the... Look at the one in Grand Look, Look at this. Tell me... Explain. Explain how this works. The only way to get into that room is through the missing map portion. There's clearly some something sus going on. Something weird is happening, and I'm going to go try and figure it out. We're going to start with the... I'll do a little test here. I'll grab that map tile and see if my actual room number increases. Uh, the one that's right here next to um, Holy Glasses. But again, there's four map tiles missing. Four map tiles does not equal the, like, 30 rooms that's missing from the room count. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna actually turn into goo and die. Oh, that's so frustrating. Nah, it's probably just the randomizer or the tracker bugged somewhere. That has to be it. You have both rings, I am aware. Maybe the changes in the map change the... Because the map changes don't change how the map looks, which is why I'm... It's possible that this preset might break the, the map counter. That's that's what I'm trying to figure out right now, Renry. Thank you for the prime. I'm starting to think that this preset might break the room counter. It's very possible. Anyways, I'm gonna test to see if collecting that map tile, map tile that I've already collected, if that increases my room count or not. If it does increase my room count, then that's very interesting. If it doesn't increase my room count, then the preset is just broken, which is understandable. I don't think they tested the preset with the idea of 200.6 being possible. I got the devil familiar room. Yeah, I did. Like, pretty much all of the map tiles that are missing are ones that I have gone through at some point. But they got taken away. Which is strange. If this doesn't increase my map, I'm just going to go beat the game. If it does increase my map, I'm probably just going to go beat the game. <laughs> and say that the, the, the thing is weird. And that's fine. So I'm at 1977. I'm going to fall down the right side. And we'll see what happens. One nine seven seven. There's the map tile. I'm going to fall down. It gets added to my map. One nine seven eight. But I already So the the rooms themselves are also getting deleted. What the fuck? Because I definitely fell down the right side. And I definitely went through the... Okay, so the map tiles were actually stolen from me. That's very funny. Alrighty. Well, that's good to know. Okay. 
Dracula's curse eating map tiles. Yeah, exactly. Let's just go finish the game. We basically got 200.6, and then the game took it away from me. <laughs> DP Daily stole them. Dude, this... Okay. Obviously, the randomize Something's going on with the randomizer or the tracker or something. I don't know. Because I've done 200.6% randomizers before. I don't know if it's the preset. It's very possible that changing the map had unintended consequences with how the... Like, changing the actual physical structure of the castle might have messed with the map in some weird way. That's very possible, but I don't know. No, the reverse shift line and shift line stuff does not mess with the map the way I did it. I've done ex extensive testing on how the map interacts with some of those glitches because I do have the world record for 200.6% map completion, where the goal is to get all of the inbounds map tiles. And I do use out of bounds for that speedrun, but that speedrun is not allowed to collect out of bounds map tiles. So I can guarantee you none of the glitches that I did uh, in the normal game would have messed with the map tiles. If they somehow messed with the map tiles in the randomizer, then I don't know. But in the normal game, it. it that would not have um, been an issue. Yeah, no, it was worth bringing up, but... There's also a non-zero chance that maybe I did miss one map tile, but it's not like I have the chance to go back and grab it, because there's a bunch of, like, fake map tiles that I already grabbed that are also removed for no reason, so... Something, something, skill issue, something, something, get, uh, owned, nerd. I don't know. It's fine. We basically did it. And I'll call that a, a success. Oh, we have to go back this way because I'm going to use the, the warp. Oh, yeah, I can't do that because the ceiling. Portal spell. Fun. Uh-oh. Let's try that again. Portal spell. Go. That's funny that it cancels it when you leave the room. Huh. Yeah. I mean, whatever. This game's freaking weird, man. Let's just own this fool. Oops, that's supposed to be double Vorpal for double the damage and double the fun. Do I have Dragon Helm? I don't? Wow, I'm surprised. Okay, that's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. Oh, God. Oh. Shaft has deja vu. Yeah, he's like, wait, where, weren't you just here? Get back here, young man. Fun. Well, at the end of the day, we had fun, and that's what really matters. The real 200.6 was the friends we made along the way. And also the four tails flips that we got from the <laughs> freaking karma Go coin. Back whence you came. Trouble the soul <sighs> of my mother no All right. more. Well, that was sure was a thing. We totally got 200.6. Ah, oh, but there's no way for me to double check because the game doesn't give you any mechanism to do so after beating the game. That's really unfortunate. Oh, well, but we totally got it. Trust me. I, I'm, an, I'm an expert. I'm a, I'm a doctor. Trust me. Trust me watching on Dragon Blitz Daily. You should subscribe. Trust me. Trust me. All right, soul. subscribe, uh, join the live stream, twitch.tv slash dragonblitz, youtube.com slash dragonblitz slash live, and I'll see you later, YouTube. Bye-bye.